today was supposed to be a one hour 45 minute long run um, so far I'm currently two hours and 20 minutes into that oops um, basically I was about 10 minutes away from my home and I saw a trail that I'd never been on before decided to go exploring and here I am Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to week two of my training diary. I am out on Sunday and it's my long run. I've just decided to have a quick chat with you while going up this slight hill. Um, so another really good week of training. Um, much better than last week's as well because last week, towards the end of the week, I complained a little bit about my calves being a bit sore and a bit tight. That is no longer an issue. Um, did a fair bit of work foam rolling and stretching and relaxing those muscles and they feel much better this week. Monday went really well as usual, that is strength training. Um, so that's all the stuff I do as part of like an, a long term physio. Squatting, deadlifting, calf raises, lunges, lots of stuff with my hips so like I do hip hikes and side lying leg raises, clamshells, anything to kind of strengthen those muscles. Tuesday was another day of hills and speed work so this week was different again it was we called it classic hill reps with a twist which means three five sets of three minutes running up a hill so that's pretty normal and then after the final set run down the hill and do five minutes really hard all out pretty much on the flat um, and that was tough after doing five sets of, of hills to then suddenly run for five minutes really hard it was quite tough you know I channeled a bit of Zach Miller as I was going through it at the end um, and that was really cool so that's few more steps in towards speed work again for me. I think next week is something similar again but instead of it being one speed session at the end I think we're going to be doing something like one hill rep, one five minute fast segment, one hill rep, one fast flat segment. So that's cool, can't wait for that. Wednesday again same as the week before um, an hour on the bike with eight fast intervals um, plus the usual strength training session so this is one the Wednesday and Saturday strength sessions are ones that are set up by my coach so they are more of an all-round or body kind of workout they pretty much hit everything you know across the the week so there'll be leg stuff there's shoulders back chest arms core so over the weeks kind of builds and builds um thursday then i decided to go back out on the treadmill again uh, because i really enjoyed last week so i did um an hour on thursday on the treadmill and again same thing on friday because I don't know why, I just wasn't fancy going out and running on the roads on Friday, so I thought I'll do a fast one on the treadmill. So I found a half marathon training plan on there and they are doing an hour run. So I thought I'll do that. It's like an hour running around some countryside and trails in Japan. Um, and then we put some strides on the end, seven 20 second strides. Um, I think I'm Saturday, so Saturday was another strength training session like the one I mentioned just now for Wednesday. All round workout, trying to hit a little bit of everything and it builds up over the weeks. Um, and that leads me to today, which is Sunday and my long run. I am out for an hour 45 today, so not massively long at all, but it is what we have in the plan. I believe next week is two hours. Um, so I'm running a route that I did two weeks ago, which I didn't film, but I really enjoyed it. So it's 
it's on this bit of trail we're on now, which is part of the South Wales 50 coming towards the end. So when I was running it, it was dark and this is when I was hurting. I had that massive blister and my knee was hurting on the other leg. And uh, yeah, it was a, this was a tough time up here, but enjoying it today. And then about a mile down the trail, we're gonna cut in left and go down through some forestry and then kind of run the way back, but through the forestry trails. Um, there's one little bit um, that I haven't done before. So it'll be a little bit of exploring. Hopefully I won't go too far wrong. Right. I've done enough talking now, I need to get back to doing some running, so see you in a bit. Pretty much at the kind of turn around, turn off point. Um, up here, to cross over a gate, or well, a few gates, and then into the forestry. Um, it's one of those strange ones because I always used to come this way, and I've seen people walk in and stuff this way and run in but it doesn't look like it should be an official path. I don't really know if it is. If it's just somewhere that people go, even though they shouldn't, or, cause look, this is the, this is the gate. Nice bit of a uh, mess here. Oh man, I'm gonna slip. So actually guys, that reminds me, just thinking about whether this is a proper trail or not, or whether I'm going on someone's land for a bit. Um, earlier in the week, well, actually at the end of last week's video, when I mentioned Lakeland 50 and about, obviously I want to run that. And if, if or will it be on this year? Really hope so. But I started thinking, oh, well, if it isn't on, what should I do? Um, I'm definitely going to run 50 miles. Well, assuming the training goes well, etc., and I get to that point. And if I do, I'm going to run it here in South Wales on the trails I know really well. Um, so I got out Garmin and planned a route. So I actually came up with a really, really good route because it's almost perfect, like a 80k just over 3,000 meters elevation. So like for like, very similar to Lakeland, I will definitely be using that for training runs once we're allowed to travel to exercise again. Part of me kind of hopes it isn't on so that I can run this route that I've come up with, but nah, I can do this anytime. Right, another weird gate to climb over, then we're almost in the woods. The other thing I haven't mentioned really, which is another kind of goal of mine over the next few months is to lose a little bit of weight. Um, back in March, um, I was around about 180 pounds, which, you know, I probably could have done with losing a tiny bit then as well. But um, over the course of the year, you know, a big part is due to diet but also part of, you know, not running for six months and doing a lot of work in the gym as well. Um, I see my weight got up to like 192. So there's 12 pounds to lose just to get back to where I was in March. So I started a couple of weeks ago and I'm already down about three pounds now, so 189, um, which I'm pretty happy with. I don't feel like you could lose much more in two weeks without compromising training. 
at no point really have I felt like I haven't got energy for runs or if I'm feeling weak or tired or if I can't go quite as hard in runs. If anyone's interested, I'm calorie counting and in general, roughly a 500 calorie deficit a day. Um, this has meant like the last two weeks I've lost three pounds, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, nine more to go till I'm back to where I was last March. Um, obviously I'm not in a major rush to get there. I need to make sure I'm eating enough calories so that I can train and recover well too. So that's the trickiest part about it. So like I said, 500 deficit a day um, and eating well. And the main things that are helping me the most, I feel are sticking to my macros. So I'm trying to hit 60% carbs a day and then 20, 20 on the fat and protein. Um, but also my meal timings. So I'm trying to make sure I'm eating well pre-exercise so that I've got enough energy to do that workout and then I'm consuming calories again post-exercise. Right, so that's week two finished. Um, I've just got to run in the rest of this long run now. I should clock in around 10 miles and hopefully maybe four to 500 meters elevation. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out my video. This is week two of my training diary. See you next time.